Hello Booktube! Today on my 2023 library tour I will be continuing with the science and fiction. The science fiction and fantasy, although this time the science fiction and fantasy are on my shelves. I have two bookcases um, with science fiction and fantasy. Uh, so let's get going. Um, first of course there is on top of this bookcase, um, which is a long, well I'll talk about it later, but anyway. I have a PS4 and two controllers that I got from my brother a year or so ago that I don't really play and I don't really know what to do with. I'll think about that eventually, but let's get on to the books. So, the first book on these shelves is... With the bookmark in there for some reason. Um, Accession by Ian and Banks. This is the first culture novel I ever read. The Culture series is a series of space operas about a massive interstellar polity called the Culture that are a mix of anarcho-Marxist and anarcho-libertarian who seem to not be able to keep out of other people's business. An accession a rogue mind of uh, the minds are hyper advanced artificial intelligences that uh, run sh starships and habitats. So, one of these rogue minds um, concocts a plan to use a random, weird, unexplainable event to goad an aggressive species that the culture wants to bring to heel um, to lash out, which would then give the culture the excuse to bring them to heel. Um, I read this in 2006, and I haven't come back to it, even though I really like this novel, which I guess is kind of one of the, the weird thing about science fiction and fantasy right now is there's a lot that I have liked but I haven't gone back to in years, and I don't really know quite what to do. So, anyway. So, I will hopefully figure it out as I work on the rest of the tour. Hoping I don't break, rip the cover. So, this next book is Twelve Kings and Sherakai by Bradley P. Bolio. This is the first book in a series. I don't know if it's a trilogy or quartet or more. Um, I, Bolio uh, was rather popular, I think, in the late 2000s and early in the, in the, the teen, teens, but I've never gotten around to this, and I really should at some point. Um, let me see if I have a bookmark in here. Yes, I do. Good Lord. I have random books marks all over the place. Okay. Next is the sequel to Twelve Kings of Kai, The Blood Upon the Sand, which I obviously have never gotten to, and the series is The Song of the Shattered Sands. So the thing about these two book bookcases is there are books that I either want to keep that I love or I haven't gotten to that I would like to. Although I do want to give a reassessment at some point. So this next book is an anthology. It's Universe 10, edited by Terry Carr. Uh, Steve Donahue um, put me onto this one. Um, he's done several library tours and he's currently on one now. And actually this one showed up sometime last week. And Steve Donahue really likes this anthology, and that's largely why I picked it up. Although my reaction is significantly more negative than Steve's is. So, anyway. But I kind of want to have another go at it. Um, next is... Master of Sorrows um, by Justin Call. This came out about five or six years ago. And I never got around to it. Next is uh, The War of the Flowers by Ted Williams. This is a standalone a Portal Quest fantasy that I've wanted to get to for a while, but I've never gotten to it yet. 
Next is The Death of the Necromancer by Martha Wells. This is a fantasy that Martha wrote um, before her uh, famous Murderbot series, but I've never gotten to it. Uh, the Diamond Age by Neil Stevenson. This is one of the early uh, steampunk novels that I think it's a steampunk. Might be... no? Oh, I thought this was steampunk. It's either steampunk or uh, cyberpunk or some weird combination. I think it's an early s steampunk, but... It's near future, so it's not really steampunk. That's weird. Okay, anyway, I've never gotten around to this. Um, I have this largely because it is an early work in steampunk, and I've long wanted to read Stevenson's work, although I'm more obsessed with um, Snow Crash, even though I've never gotten on with Snow Crash. <sighs> it's annoying. I mean, you know. Anyway, next is a book by uh, Dennis Wheatley that I haven't gotten to, Uncharted Seas. Uh, this was the inspiration for a uh, movie, a Hammer Horror movie in the 60s that I think I watched and liked, but it's been a while, and I really would like to get to this one at some point. Next is The Bone Chips by R.J. Parker. This is book one of the Thai Child Trilogy, and I've never gotten around to it yet. Um, next is Dahlgren by Samuel R. Delaney. This is a post-apocalyptic uh, queer science fiction and fantasy, well, queer science fiction novel by one of the masters of science fiction. Um, I had to go at this years and years ago and didn't quite get on with it, but I would like to have another go at it at some point, so why I have it. I also have The Fall of the Towers, which is a bind up of Out of the Dead City, The Towers of Toron, and City of a Thousand Suns, all by Samuel R. Delaney, which I haven't gotten to this yet. And since I have all the, I probably should have, oh yeah, I've got to go hunt for Triton, probably. Anyway, next is um, I'm Prince of Nothing series uh, by R. Scott Baker. It's a grim, dark uh, fantasy series um, that I actually did a successful Bell Redemption on um, years ago before I actually bought any of the books. But I never continued with the trilogy, which I would like to do. So this is the first book in the trilogy, The Darkness That Comes Before. I also have The Warrior Prophet, which I haven't gotten around to yet, or The Thousandfold Thought. So the next shelf... Um, is, or two uh, culture novels. This is Consider Phlebas, the first culture novel. Um, I've had several goes at this. It's a tale during the Culture Adiran War. And, excuse me, it's about a um, missing mind that um, the main, several factions are trying to go after. I have never gotten on with this novel. I've tried two or three times, and it just, I don't know, it's like, I really liked Accession, but I've struggled with the rest of the culture series. I also have the second book in the series, um, Player of Games, which is, again, um, elements of the culture interfering in a different um, space polities politics, and in this time they force a gamer to participate in another culture's uh, sort of socio-political game that dominates their culture. Next is a bind-up of 
the Rethu novels by Storm Constantine. This includes Enchantment of Flesh and Spirit, The Bewitchment of Love and Hate, and The Fulfillment of Fate and Desire. This is a trilogy of uh, queer science fiction novels um, that I build on when I was in college. And I've always wanted to come back to these, um, but I've never gotten around to them, even though I've had these for years now. Next is uh, the Black Company uh, trilogy. Um, well, it's more than a trilogy now. It was originally a trilogy, but then it expanded as fantasy series are wont to do. So this is a bind up of the Black Company, Shadows Linger, and The White Rose, all by Glenn Cook. Um, I read the first book, uh, The Black Company, and I kind of liked it. And I picked up this bind up when I saw it at Golden's Book Exchange, but I've never gone back to it, which is kind of typical for me. Next is a book that I build on. Um, but I wanted to have another go at it, and I never did. It's Vellum by Hal Duncan. This uh, came out in the early 2000s, and um, it's sort of a mashup of mythologies, if I remember. But it's been so long since I read it and or bailed on it, and I really need to, at some point, come back to it. Next is Ex Heroes by Peter Klein. This is a zombie novel with superheroes that I had never got around to. Um, there's a period where I was interested in superhero fiction, uh, even though I don't think it ever quite works. Superheroes really work best in comic books. Oh dear. Next is Door into Fire by Diane Duane. Um, this is a classic fantasy novel that I've never uh, gotten around to. And it's a queer fantasy novel. Next is uh, The Fortress in the Eye of Time by C.J. Cherry, which I never got around to. Also by C.J. Cherry, The Tree of Swords and Jewels. Uh, book of Tongues by Gemma Files. This is a weird western. The first book in the Hexlinger series, which I don't know much about. I think I picked it up because it's a queer, weird western, but never got around to it. I also have The Citadel of the Autark, Volume 4 of the Book of the New Sun by Gene Wolfe. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, which I've never read, um, which I know, I'm a bad fantasy fan. Next are my trio of Clark Ashton Smith collections. First is The Return of the Sorcerer, uh, the best of Clark Ashton Smith. This is the first book of Clark Ashton Smith I ever wrote, read, and um, I really wanted it in my collection, and I finally picked it up, and quite happy to have it, although my last reading of it it could have been better. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so quite happy to have it. I also have uh, Lost World with this weird, weird cover. I have no idea what anybody was thinking about this cover, but this is a really good collection too. And I also have the Penguin Classics, The Dark Eidolon, and other fantasies. And Given that Clark Ashton Smith has a Penguin Classic, why the heck does Robert E. Howard not? I'd like to know that. But anyway, this is a fairly good collection too. Um, next is The Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien, which really needs no introduction. It's in a, it's a complete kind of, you know, whole novel with the movie tie-in cover, which I wish I could change. Next is A Shadow March by Ted Williams, the first book in 
a series that I never gotten around to yet. Um, I kind of there's one work by I want to start on first because I've got the whole of it, which will show up tomorrow. And last, uh, Changeling by Roger Zelazny, which I've never got to. Um, so that concludes these two shelves. I will be back tomorrow with the last two shelves on this bookcase, and then I'll start next week. Well, I guess I could do that tomorrow. Um, but anyway, so that's what I got for today. I might be back later this evening with a um, discussion video if I'm up for it um, and if I have the reading time for it. Because uh, there's a pretty big um, reading commitment I want to do today. So in a book tip, if I see you today or if I see you tomorrow, thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.